Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. We got identity change today, guys. Gravity S is no longer. It's team now. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so coffee sponsor of today is actually my man Chris from Ohio. He actually paid me a visit yesterday, and first thing he did was, big fan of your channel. Here's some coffee for you. So Chris brought me, I guess it's called Saucy Roast. Saucy Brew Works. What's his nuts? Hondorian full city roast with peanut butter flavor. Interesting. Look at this. Check it out. All right. Chris was so cool. He's like, here, this is for you, for your coffee. And I'm like, oh man, thank you so much. Uh, he's like, you like, uh, you like, you like this kind of coffee? I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm into my daily dark roast. And he was so cute. He's like, oh, well, maybe you don't like this one. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I like most coffees, and, and thank you for even just thinking of me. Uh, Chris came all the way from Ohio and uh, said that his highlight of his whole trip was just meeting me. So, man, I, I, don't, uh, I don't deserve that honor. So Chris was out here uh, visiting family and decided to make a trip out to uh, surprise me. So, Chris, thank you so much for the honor. Um, it was great to meet you. Thank you for the brew. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, or if you're in my hood, hook me up with the coffee, just like Chris. All right? Or if you're way far away and can't make it out here, yeah, buy me a coffee is the way. All right? So, it's buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. You can contribute as much or as little as you like. All right. Much appreciated to all the fans out there. I appreciate you. Yep. Definitely going to roast this up. What's, what's his nuts? Okay. Good one. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of nuts, okay. Um, so we got an identity change here. This used to be called the head gravity S. I used to say, what does S mean? And everybody gave me that. Yeah. So um, I said, well, why are we changing the S to the team? Like, oh, in order to align with all the other companies. So S in essential, S essentially means that we're going to be 10 ounces, 10.1 ounces, 9.9 .9 ounces. So around that 9.8 to 10.2 ounce realm is where we're going to lie in anything that says team. Okay. So what does that equal to grams? 285 to 295 is my guess. Yeah. Anyways, so team version in the gravity, what does this have now? New color scheme, kinda. Um, technology, aesthetic, like everything else. Has the racket changed in string pattern? No. It's still a 1619. Has the racket changed in thickness? No, still 24 millimeters. Hmm. So I strung it with my favorite black strings. I actually put a turner grip on it because I just wanted to feel with the turner grip. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what it weighs after it's done with the grip and the strings. So it's 304, 304. 
which is 10.7. Okay. Head size is 104. Okay, so if you're looking for a lighter, bigger racket that says team on it, you can give this one a try. All right, so let's take a look at some numbers here. Well, actually, let me balance it out first. Oh, that was fast. Three, 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 two. Okay. All right. Like three, three, two, and we got three o four, which is ten point seven. So standard team racket will look very very similar to these numbers okay so these are unstrung strung with an overgrip strung with an overgrip okay as you see from pro to mp to team what happens we get thicker in the beam okay we also got bigger with this one at 104 these are both 100s we got lighter okay with this version uh, bigger and lighter and then the weight obviously is, I'm telling you, it's lighter. What happened to the balance though? It got head heavier. As I keep telling you, lighter the racket, the more balance, more head heavy it's going to be. So what racket is this equivalent to in other lines? Well, you could say Blade 104, uh, Dunlop, CX200 OS uh, in the Babolat line, the Strike 103 in the Yonex line, the E Zone 105. So there is kind of a you know, company equivalence to this racket, but let's see how this particular one plays as they deem it as a medium controlled racket so lower on the power even though they say 600 okay so that 24 millimeter beam will give this a little more power all right let's take it out on the court and try it out All right guys, so we just got off the court with the team version of the Gravity Series from Head with the Oxetic, Ascetic, oh something tick. Anyways, um, very surprising. This used to be called the S, if you guys didn't yep. know oh, that. Oh, really? Yes. So no more S. They're calling it team now. Okay, so 104 Head on a 10.1 one 10.2 ounce frame before said a 104 104 head yeah, yeah. right yeah. does that surprise you it does yeah. after you hit with it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right coach jared give me your review 
Yeah, so uh, I actually didn't know this was 104 until uh, Harry just said so just now. Um, but yeah, I actually like this one better than the MP. So for me, I personally like rackets that have more swing weight towards the tip of the racket. And even though this is a lot lighter than the MP, I think I got more um, help from the racket in terms of swinging through my shot. So um, yeah, since it has most of the weight towards the head and probably the back of the racket, I would actually add a little bit more weight towards three and nine. But I got a lot of good pocketing from the racket, even though it was super light, I was actually able to handle some good paced shots. Um, and again, the gravity line of rackets and the auxetic technology is just, again, a winner from head. So I think for the most part, if you guys are looking for updates from any headline racket, and uh, you're looking for a change soon, I would recommend switching to these uh, auxetic head rackets in general. So Coach Jared, um, that is actually very similar to, I believe, the Blade 104. I actually like that racket a lot too. So, <laughs> Big Blade fan. Yeah, yeah I think I think what he likes traditionally like these one or these rackets that are above 100 square inch head size. For some reason, I just like favored a lot of those, and I was just demoing them for fun. It's just kind of me just going out for fun, and just cracking a couple of shots, and even though I was joking around, it would just hit the court and kind of go through. But I just never made the switch. So maybe one of these days I might. Yeah, yep. it, it's definitely got enough plow and head um, head weight, right? Coach Chris, what'd you think? So. Uh, I'm actually not uh, the biggest fan of the team. I think the added head weight to it throws off uh, my swing pattern a little bit more. I'm actually, I prefer a racket that isn't as head heavy, but a little bit more towards the neck and, and the handle. So playing with this, I definitely can see where Jared's coming from. Uh, the head size, I can see why it's that uh, bigger too as well you do have that kind of power and it does feel stable too but you you have that kind of extra uh, weight behind your shot and that kind of follow through as you're as you're hitting um, definitely I like what they're doing with the team with it it's a lot more stable than I think the s and back uh, back in the day back in the day uh, overall this racket playability wise anyone really can pick this up it is definitely on the lighter side um, I'll definitely recommend this to club level players and some people who like playing with the blade. This would be a good complimentary racket to it. Okay. So, so the, the category that this kind of falls into is like a, a lady player that's on the good side, like a three, five and up. Um, I see people using this type of a racket, um, high school women. Uh, high school juniors, excuse me. Um, Jared Ma. <laughs> Club level players, met both men and women, for sure. That 3-0 to 4-5 type of a uh, uh, person. Or somebody who used to be 5-0 that's a little on the older side who wants a little lighter racket but remember the... You know, head heavy head weight yeah yeah it's definitely yeah hammer time back in my time it was hammer time you know what i'm saying like wilson hammers is kind of similar to that um great racket overall 24 on the beam now so we get thicker yeah, yeah it is definitely thicker mm -hmm. nice. and that's where we're getting stability and power from yep. yeah all right guys thank you for uh being out here and testing the new team gravity with me today coach chris you're holding the mic where can i find you you can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. Coach Jared, where are you at? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Rob, it's a little cold. I'm freezing, Harry. Keep moving your feet. <laughs> and it's dark. Ooh, I can't then, barely see. Then you better not miss, Harry, because then you're going to get colder. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, gosh. All right. Do you want that, pro? That will make you play in the dark, make you play in the freezing cold, not let you give up on your tennis. Well, I got my coach, Rob. You can get your coach, Rob, at play your court you can find over 27,000 players out there coaches and playing partners all at playyourcourt.com